we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father, who is the source of blessings, we believe your promise that we too are sources of blessings. When I become a source of blessing, we believe that a thousand generations do well. Lord, may we obey the word of truth. By disobedience, may we not sin and be simple. By scorning God's word, may we not become a Pharisee. May we be wise and receive all the blessings that Jehovah has provided. May our children be wise. For our country and our people, may we be blessed and, and do precious work. For your glory, may we have precious families. We believe at this dawn we will receive the word. Are there families with problems? May they receive answers. Are there, is there anyone with problems? By that, may they receive answers. May we give you great glory. Happiness and satisfaction is only what the Father can give. We thank you. We pray in Jesus' name and thank you and bless. Amen. Please repeat after me, sheep. So if things aren't happening according to your desires, you'll be like, oh, if only I could do as well as Pastor Park. No, you will do greater. Someone like me, I still haven't achieved. I'm, on, I'm still on my way. I'm pressing on toward the goal of the cross. That's Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Pressing on toward the cross. This word, there is no lie. You know what we most don't do well? It's always my children or my body or my money. There's something that you're holding on to. And then some people are like, oh, my bad life, and you hate yourself. Oh, my family's so filthy. In Christ, you know, there's no my family, your family. We become adopted sons of God. We fix our destiny. As you go along the street, if you become an adopted son of a wealthy family, then all of that inheritance becomes mine. So that's what's happened. So why do you say, oh, I've got a filthy husband. Oh, I've got such a filthy destiny. You're always holding on to something. My body, my children, my money, or, or you're grumbling and complaining. Every day we have to cut this off. Moment by moment, we have to cut, cut these off. If you keep being trained in this, what is this training? You can only ask for these things to be cut off by the blood of Christ. So that's when your thought, your thinking changes. You think, oh, I have to eat well, live well, me and my children. That's the thoughts of a beast. So if we ask for street directions, there's no one who's going to follow us to Somyon. Even from here to Samyon, in America, someone will drive one hour in the car in order to lead you the way. They, they do things that we cannot imagine. And so you see the writings of, of what Koreans write. Oh, someone asked this, so I told them, you know, the directions to go that way. To write things like that, how can, can you get anywhere near the Nobel Prize? You can't. Even though I'm a pastor and you say you believe in Jesus, you do four state repentance. But if someone asks you street directions, are you going to get in your car after work? You've worked the whole day. You know, they're still holding their lunchbox and wearing their work clothes. You know, how many people here are going to drive all the way there to show them directions? Even staying from me, I don't have that heart. In America, on our way to a revival, these pastors who, who've who graduated from Seoul University, that's how smart they are. You know, even though they're so smart, they couldn't find the directions in the sun's setting. And so a lady, they asked a lady at the supermarket, and it's the same even if they ask a man. Because we couldn't find, they said, she said, follow my car. And these pastors, you know, after hearing, they're like, oh, no, no, I think we know, you don't have to show us. And on the way, they would get lost again and again. So why are our thoughts like this? Because we don't know this word. Those people, they live with the heart that the world is theirs. It's an incredible heart. 
For us, we say only what's mine is mine. Everything else is someone else's, so we kill them, we smash it. I mean, that's why we divide into denominations and factions. If we say everything's mine, why would you need to make a denomination? If everything's mine, ours, then we don't need to do that. So we need to fix this mentality. Is that person a man or not? It's not their clothes or how they use their money. It's not that they're sitting in some position. It's their inside. Is that, is that, have they become a man or not? But our country still doesn't know how to look uh, to see this because they're not awakened to the gospel. They don't know what they have to do uh, um, for this country uh, to do well. So let's find Psalm chapter 84, verse 10. So they don't know who it is that has a long life. They think just if you have... You know, if you have many years, that, that's a long life. No, even if it's one day with God, that is a long life. So the thinking is completely different. So under this type of thinking, if we can't escape from this thinking, then we will never be able to see the light. For under 30, under the Japanese for 36 years, if we suffered that much, to have the right heart, it's only by the gospel. It's so sad. Even though our country is in this state, they don't know what to do fundamentally. We have to return to the gospel. We have to return to the word. Psalms chapter 84, verse 10. Let's read that first. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand outside. I would rather stand at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Amen. If I go to uh, a house of mourning, someone who's passed away, and we ask how old he was, like Yu Guan Sun, if they were under 20, well, they'll say, oh, no, their life was cut off. They automatically say it was a shortened life. But if someone was 70, 80, they say, oh, they lived a long life. They're all fake. Even if you live with God a day, that is a long life. If God's not with you, even if you live a hundred years, just because a stork stork lives a long time, do we say, oh, you've lived a long life. If you look on our country's wardrobes or on furniture, they, they, they have storks and turtles. In other words, to say, to have a long life, to let's live a long life. You see um, these characters for life in order in, 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 to live a long life. But God says living one day with God, that is a long life. Just because you live 100 years, that's not a long life. So because we have this type of thinking, starting from me, if something's dangerous, I won't do it. I won't do something to die. You know, the parents stop you from doing something if you're going to die. But the Europeans, even though if you do it, you're going to die, because God being with you, that's a long life. They say, oh, that's okay if I die today. If they feel like doing it, they'll do it. So how is it that they jump off the Niagara Falls? Of course you're going to die, but they'll try it. And they, di- and they die. So why is it they're not afraid of death? Even if you live one day with God, that's better than living a thousand years alone. So they're not interested in living, you know, like that. So their thinking is so different. If for us the smallest danger, we won't do it. You look at those people. They will pay money to do what? They'll get a rope tied to them and they'll jump off. Even if we're paid, we don't want to do that. You know, to jump off a cliff. Even if we're given a thousand dollars, we won't do it. Even if you're given a thousand, hundred thousand dollars, we're not going to do it. But they pay money to jump off. Aren't they strange? But who's right? We're wrong. Our thinking is wrong. My body, my life. And yet we die faster. What is long life? People say living a long life is the best. It's to be with God. Because you don't know this, you know, how are you living your life of faith? It's to be with God. That is a long life. Even if it's one day, that is a long life. Just because you have many years, you know, like a 
you know, that's, that's not a long life. So you know what's funny? I think it was lungs or maybe liver. Even after hearing, I forgot. You know, because I'm not a specialist, but I can't remember what it is, but it, when, when the lungs or the liver is broken, the, the pig's one is what matches the best. You know, God says we're dog pigs. If you depart from the faith, he doesn't call us an elephant or a cow, but he calls us dog pigs. But the scientists, after studying, the pig's organs, if some, you know, there's no one who's going to give up their organs. So you, to use a pig's organs, that's what's most right. So it's exactly according to the Bible. It's so surprising if you see. God, it does, he hasn't just written it. So that's what the scientists are researching. They're saying now, you know, men can live a long life. You're idiots. Even if it's one day to be with God, that is a long life. Because you don't know what a long life is. You think just by picking up these heavy sacks, that's a long life. A long life is where God is with you. Is this our men? So if God is with you, so because we don't have time, we, we can't do verse 11 and 12. But God being with you, that is a long life. On this earth, whatever you do, it's all foam. King Gange Do, in order to have his name remain, he, he on a he had these uh, tombstones that he had engraved. But after a thousand years, all that writings disappeared. Whatever man makes, no matter how good it is, it finishes within a thousand years. The five sixteen, um, the Ku Square. In Seoul, that's disappeared. They've turned it into a park. No matter how much people try to have their name remain, after a little while, it's it's finished. So 1 John chapter 2, verse 17, let's find it. That's what's recorded there. So what is a long life? People want to have their name remain. They want to live a long life on this earth. But that's God being with you. Even if it's one day, that's a long life. That's when your name remains forever. It's when you do the will of God, when you do four-step repentance. When you do this, that's when God is with you. That is a long life. That's the only way for your name to remain forever. Otherwise, your name will not remain eternally. Our country, we talk about King Gangeto. You know, we talk about all these things. But so knowing that, what use is that? It's useless. You thought that at school, if you didn't know that, that you'll die because they examine you on that. But if you look, it's nothing. If you ask in Japan or China, they don't know about it. You know, overseas, they're not even interested in it. Even for us, it's nothing. So, and what's famous overseas, you know, it's the same for us. But overseas, those people who have done according to God's word, they shine eternally. If you don't repent, more and more you go towards evil without you realizing. If you don't repent, so let's say you have one evil today, then next it's the next day it's two and then three. And so the more evil you become, straight away you don't give benefit to others. If you don't give benefit, then everything you do is to please yourself. So then everyone departs. If there are fakes at the church, they all depart. That's what's happened to Europe. No matter how well they built those churches, you know, they use this stone. If you make sculptures, if you use this, this white stone, it's, it's like glass. I don't know how much it is. It's so expensive. Even though, even the stone is so precious, but even till a little while ago, Korea didn't have the skills to engrave that stone. You know, we'd have to take it to Japan. But you, you go to Europe, they have these huge churches and they've engraved them as if they're sculptures. There are so many churches like that. And yet there's no one that believes in Jesus. They don't give worship. 
When they first built them, they had the, all these denominations. They're all ruined. There's no one left. The descendants don't attend church. Why? Because all they saw is that their ancestors believed and were ruined, so no one goes. And so then you see these tourists, they, they, they have a drink and under God's nose, they, you know, they're like, oh, these bastards be, built this well. And all they do is bring curses upon God because they can't maintain the churches. They sell them as pubs and, you know, this is, this is what's happened to Europe. What about us? Already they're saying the churches are reducing these fakes who like to boast of their name. If there are saints remaining there, that's a problem. Of course they have to depart. So, at the moment, that's what's happening in Korea. They're departing, so it's thankful. So, everyone wants their name to remain. After money, it's a good name. So, we all want our name to remain. So, to have your name remain eternally, that is a long life, and that is only the will of God. But in Asia, Korea, they don't know this. Even those who believe in Jesus, they don't know this. And that's why they're fakes. They, they're fakes who cannot receive salvation. So someone who doesn't even know this, if they make their children study, none of them are going to become men. So your husband or your father or your grandfather or some elder in your elderly person in your country. You know, they may have gone to Japan or somewhere to study. They may have studied overseas in America and they did well. Well, what happened? What happened in the end? There's, they have nothing. They, it's like they just end as if it was just a, a day. So it, they're like insects. They end as insects that just live for their daily pleasures. Even though they're alive, they're dead. That's 2 Timothy chapter 5, verse 6. So how are you going to live today? Even if you can live just one day to be with God, that is a long life. That is when your name reta- remains eternally. Well, how is God with you? Well, you have to fulfill his will. It's only by force get repentance. 1 John chapter 2, verse 17, let's read it. The world is passing away and also its lusts, but the one who does the will of God lives forever. Amen. So in the world, you may study a lot. Oh, you're so respect worthy. You have some philosophy, but that's all worldly. Or they're filled with their greeds, their lusts. So if you have lust, you pretend to have love, but you're filled with greed. You're filled with demons. So just like the dew on the grass, you just pass away. So someone who lives this day by day, just because you live 100 years, you think that's a long life? You've been in that position for a long time. Is that a long life? No, it's to fulfill God's will. Only that remains eternally. So someone whose name remains forever, don't you want to become someone like that? But in Korea, we don't know this this worth. And so everything that we're teaching and learning, it's the animal kingdom. So you look at people whose names are known in in Korea. Yes, your name may be known. It may seem that your name is known on this earth. But who, who, who recognizes you? Someone whose name remains, their accomplishments, it's... It's according to God's will. That remains forever. That is a long life. So those who are worldly, they're like beasts. They're filled with their lusts. They're beasts filled with their greeds. They don't know about this. In Christ, you have to become a new man to know to fulfill God's will. So even if it's one day, you know, it... A beast that may live a hundred years, it's nothing. But even if to live one day, to live as a man, that person's name remains forever. And so I I tell you this many times. You may not be educated, you may not have anything, but if you do force that repentance properly and you pass it down to your children, God hears all your prayers and your children do well. Your future becomes better. You have blessings in your late age. And then... Eternally, they'll say, who did this in our family? And it'll all come out. That grandma that, that did the will of God, forced at repentance, that grandfather, would it, by that person, that family lives. Let's become a man. Let's have this long life. Let's receive the blessings for our desires fulfilled. Let's shine light onto others. Let's live this life. So let's read again. 1 John chapter 2, verse 17. 
The world is passing away and also its lusts, but the one who does the will of God lives forever. Amen. God's will. To give thanks in all things. Four-step repentance. Only this is how your name remains forever. Let's have this long life. What is this? In the Bible, it says it is the sun. Only the sun seems to remain forever. So the universe, they say it's sun-centered. Now that science develops, you know, they found all these things that are brighter than the sun. But even that is the sun. It's bright. So we're centered on the sun. Folk, that Psalms chapter 84 verse 11. Someone who shines forever is someone who does the will of God, who God is with. Yu Guan Sun, Koreans, because when they're beasts and when they don't know, more and more in the Lord's name, because she did things in the Lord's name, more and more she will have this long life. Her name will shine. When I didn't know the gospel, I just thought she was some young girl, you know, in the April Revolution who did bad things. That, see, that's, that's all I thought of it as. But more and more as time goes by, they're not going to uh, recognize General Lee who is filled with lust and worldliness. It's going to be Yu Guan Sun more and more. Not like a shooting star. That's useless. It's the sun that shines. So this blessing of long life, which is to fulfill God's will, it's called the sun. Those people who want to live as the sun. All life that's dead, it's by the sun. Is the sun day or night? Is the sun day or night? It's the night. You say it's night. Nehemiah chapter 9, it says a quarter of the day to not know this. So I'm going to take you to that. So let's wake up. So to live like the sun, there's nothing but a quarter, a quarter, a quarter. There's nothing but a quarter of the day. Do you know how much God's giving us precious things? But to not know a thing, and you you know, they say these sermons, it's so regretful. Psalms chapter 84 from verse 10. This long life to, to live forever, even if it's one day, eternity is with God, is God being with you, which is to be is which is to be like the sun. At this dawn, let's receive help. With what? With a quarter of the day. That is God's will. Only that is how your name shines forever. Let's live properly. Let's all pray. Father. At this dawn, God's help is by the sun where our, where our name remains forever, where darkness is cast out. The thoughts of darkness is cast out. And where we're dead, where we're living as a beast, it's to live as a man, to be guided to the sun. That's when life shoots up and springs up and, and brings forth fruits. This amazing sun, a quarter of the day, may this be engraved in our hearts, and may our may we shine forever. When I do well first, that's when our country will shine. Our country will shine like the sun. The sun that sets in the west will rise again in the east. This incredible thing, may we receive help at dawn. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.